What's up YouTube? I'm going to show you how to diagnose a vending machine that won't cool. Alright, you have your vending machine, it turns on, but uh, it's not getting cold. So, I'm going to go through some of the things that it could be. So, uh, first, you're going to want to make sure that the compressor actually runs. So, the compressor here, there it is, it has its own power supply, which you're going to want to take out here. It's, it's this top one here. Unplug it from here, and you're going to plug it directly into the wall, or here I'm using an extension cord. But, you're going to want to do this just to make sure that, the comp that nothing's wrong with the compressor. If you plug it in, and it doesn't turn on, you're going to need a new compressor. So, put the camera down for a second, and just plug it in. I hear the compressor, fans are turning, everything here works. So I'm good here. My compressor works fine. So, come back here, plug it back in. Alright, now, next thing is, I want to make sure that the relay is good. So, I'm going to come back here and I'm going to plug in the machine, the whole machine. So, uh, plug in the whole machine. Okay. And we're going to go here and I'm going to press this button here, it is the button to get into programming mode. So now that it will read error, close that, it will read error, and so now we can go and test the different relays. So we want to come here to pass, I'm going to put in the code, and the code for this machine is 4, 2, 3, 1, 4. Alright, that didn't work, so I'm trying to... Finally, alright, got it, it is 4, 2, 3, 1, it just, my buttons don't work 100%. But it'll work eventually. Alright, so now we scroll through here. Yeah, it's the third button don't work very well. And we're gonna go to where the heck is it? We're gonna go to fridge. See it says R F I G. Press button four. Cut in. Cut out. We'll look at those in a little bit. Degree display fridge. Relay. Okay. That's what we want. We want relay, fan, light, heater, compressor, CNPR, we want to test that. So you press button 4, twice, now the compressor's on and we can hear it. So we know the relay is good. Now the next thing you want is to make sure that your fridge setting is set to 1. Okay, if it's set to zero, it won't work. You gotta make sure it's set to one. It's either one or zero. All right, that's at one. Next is cut in, cut out. Uh, just make sure that these are programmed right. You have to look into the manual, but mine's set at 41 for cut in. The cut out is set at 29 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, last thing is, I'm gonna go back. Alright, 
back in the fridge go to display and make sure it's set at one this is going to display the temperature inside the machine um, at like the regular menu so we're going to go back to that see it says 255 degrees Fahrenheit which it's not so and that's a big giveaway for what is wrong with this machine which is the next thing you're going to want to check is the temperature sensor so the temperature sensor is going to be behind here uh, you might be able to see it uh, it's that that thing bolted into the wall right there you got two bolts one on each side that's your temperature sensor so you're going to need to unbolt this move it out the way just a little so you can get your hand back there unbolt it and uh, change it out you know it's it's hard to really say if it's bad but um like my my giveaway is like if it's plugged in as it should be and your, and your temperature is reading 255 degrees fahrenheit it's a safe bet that your temperature sensor doesn't work anymore so and what i actually did uh, i already replaced it what i did um, was I just unplugged it here to show you like how to diagnose it I'm gonna unplug the machine and plug that part back in now and I'm gonna put this back on as it was okay Go ahead and plug it all back in. And and now we're getting a temperature reading of 91 degrees Fahrenheit. And so soon you'll hear the compressor kick in and your machine will start to cool. You'll start to see the temperature drop and it'll drop all the way to 29 degrees Fahrenheit which is my cutout point so that's when the compressor is going to stop running and it'll cut back in when it reaches over 41 degrees Fahrenheit so I'll wait until the compressor kicks back kicks in so so you know what I'm talking about I'll come back here it'll, it'll kick on soon There it goes. It takes a few minutes, but now the compressor is going to start cooling. You'll start to see this temperature drop. And you'll feel it get cold in here and everything. But that is how you diagnose a vending machine that is not cooling um, just in case anyone's wondering this is a royal vendors uh, machine and I can't speak for you know the other other type of machines but I would assume it would be fairly similar you can always just look up the manual and it should have you know a troubleshooting area but yeah, I want to. I want to get this dropping. Oh, whatever. All right. Hope this was able to help some of you guys. If uh, you know anyone's thinking about getting a vending machine and they got one and didn't cool that's what I did with this one there it goes 90 degrees dropped to 1 degree already it'll take a while before it's 29 degrees but give it about an hour it'll be good but yeah thanks for watching